So here is an example of an AI app that we are going to build in the upcoming course, Learn to Build AI Apps. So what this does is that uh, it replicates the behavior of Google Photos. So what we can do is we can first upload any images that we like. So for example, we have a bunch of images here. We upload all of them. Right now it's processing. So it is almost done. There you go. So once this is done, what we can do is we can search for any terms that we like. So for example, we can write here car and it will give us the images that contain cars. Now, the interesting part is that we can write car and person. So it will display us only the images that have both car and person in them. So here you can see there is a car and the person is there as well. Here we have person and the car is behind there. So we have car here. I believe this is detected as a person. And then uh, we have a person here and the car is there and so on. So uh, we can also try, for example, pizza. So here we are getting these images, but what if we write pizza and person? So it will give us only the person with pizza image. Uh, we can write also pizza and table, and that will give us the same result because it contains a table as well. Uh, then we can write, for example, horse. It will give us the images of horses that we have. Sheep, it will give us images of sheep. And we can uh, basically search for other terms as well. Uh, whatever we have in here and let's say we wanted to search for person uh, and then we also wanted to search for chair person and chair there you go so i'm sitting on a chair that's why it has displayed us this so the idea is that it is storing and if we refresh this it will already have all the previous ones and we can upload more files for example we upload let's say 24 more and then uh, again, we can go ahead and search for all these. So if we write again car, then it will show us the previous ones and the new ones as well. And it will search from there. And now if you were wondering, could you do that for faces as well? Because Google does it for faces as well. Uh, so for example, it will recognize me as a person and then you can write a name for that person. And then you can say, for example, Murtza in a car. And then it will find all the images of me sitting in a car. So yes, you can do that too. Uh, there is a method of doing that as well. So you'll be able to write the names of different people. Uh, of course, it will need a lot of programming for that as well, but I will explain how you can do that uh, as well. So uh, this is the basic idea of uh, one of the apps that we will be creating. It's interesting to see how it really works and you can deploy this on your uh, applications, web applications very easily and we will explain step by step how exactly uh, can you build this so i hope you like this demo and uh, i will share some more demos as well before we actually launch the course so stay tuned and i will see you next time